Gen Fanatic is having an open alpha test on the 24th to the 27th. If you're interested, I will have my referral link in the description in the comment section. Check out the game. It's based on RuneScape Classic. So if that tickles your fancy, your nostalgia, your love of the game, I think this could be a fun time. Now, they are a relatively new game. The Kickstarter has not even started yet. And in all honesty, if the Kickstarter is not going well, or even if it does, in my opinion, they would be smart to do nft tied rares people compare nfts to runescape party hats all the time put them on a blockchain i swear it would probably fund the whole game within one drop of rares and they could also have something to give away for people playing the game people will stress test i'm just throwing that out there to the creator uh consider it i really think it would work well but let's get into what this actually is it is an indie mmo they're just going to have a starter tutorial some teasers there's going to be some swag prizes and rewards and some stretch goals if people heap these goals, you know, during this release. They probably will. Lazy Peon does have an older video on this, uh, but I think it'll be quite a bit of interest on launch, especially if Iron Man, Group Iron Man gets delayed. And also, smartly, this ends right before New Worlds. People waiting on New World looking for any MMO. Let's watch the trailers. Let's see what we think. They're literally making fun of us while we're doing the tutorial. What, what are these developers right eat, now? Eat, eat. No, 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 I don't want to be a cop! I'm not gonna die! No, it's you! Oh, God. I gotta Hello, floating scorpion. Yeah, let me out. I can't get out, dude. Just run back on. No. No, James, no. No, okay, the enemies are hard. I went and tried to look <laughs> destroyed me. You got a raw potato, but it's not that. Honestly, seems pretty exciting i'd say honestly the most exciting thing here for me is the small weekly updates uh small weekly updates are a big deal um i also would say that where it has a browser if they can get it so you can play at least somewhat on a phone maybe even if it's just on like a browser i know that's not like a main thing but later on down the line i'm talking a couple years maybe if the game's doing well bring a whole new audience just like what happened with old school but this is the actual alpha trailer, and I think that needs to be shared as well. Because that's what most people are going to see to, you know, understand what's going on. In a generic fantasy world, evil falls over the land. Profits were down. Local adventurers couldn't even slay a rat, let alone a dragon. The Corporation for Licensed Heroics tried everything. Bonus XP! New skills, quest content. They provided stronger weapons and even introduced new cosmetics. The boss wondered to himself, how are we going to get these fools to do fetch quests all day? In the end, they went back to the basics. Looking for a vacation? Join a world where most people stand around in banks all day. Real life getting too monotonous? Cut trees, mine ores, craft stuff. You too can do meaningless work for low pay. Level up skills such as picking things off the ground. Do tasks for NPCs that they could have easily done themselves. Kill monsters, get money, buy things to kill even more monsters. Play alongside dozens of other adventurers. Farm for random drops that in no way resemble a slot machine. Your generic fantasy adventure begins whenever the developer gets off his ass. And that's it. Yeah, I I think this game actually has promise. I know there's going to be a lot of people seeing this and going, hey, this looks terrible. I guarantee it. But there's nostalgia to it, there's simplicity to it, and having this level of simplicity allows things like small weekly updates. 
and that's what kept that game alive and grew it so much to begin with. So I would rather have lower quality graphics if it meant more updates to the game. So all in all, I'm going to probably try the test as long as I find time and I'm not too busy. It seems very simple. I'm going to just sign up, sign up for the mailing list, join the game. I already am actually on the mailing list waiting for it to come out. I, um, I thought I'd share because I'm a RuneScape player and I have grown a little bored for the last year or two with old school RuneScape. I'd stop in for the seasonals. I'm planning to play some group Iron Man if it passes. Um, and I feel like this game has a lot of promise, something yet again I could kind of play on my computer in another tab. As I said, I feel like, honestly, funding could just be blown out of the water by NFTs. But let me know what you think, and I'll see you in the next video. Maybe I'll make some videos with uh, this game, maybe after the alpha, maybe just cover some more content after it gets a little farther along, maybe once the Kickstarter is out and we see what's uh, being offered along with that.